Hello guys, this is your PJ vlogger, Rosvi. And in today's video, I will share with you something pretty important about my status being a YouTube content creator. I'm gonna be pretty random today. So it's already 11.30 p.m. actually, but I've just remembered something very, very important. And honestly, I'm kinda alarmed about this. So my channel had been monetized last year. Honestly, I was not really that aware or knowledgeable about YouTube yet. So I was just only watching some YouTube videos as well to know more about it. So there's one thing that I've just figured out and it has something to do with my YouTube partner program status. I know you're curious, I don't know if you are, but yeah. For those who are curious about what I'm talking about, well, let me shed some light on that. Okay, so let me show you the email that I was pertaining to. Ta-da! There you go. I received this one last February 2 at exactly 1.10 a.m. But I had so much on my plate. Um, at that time, that's why, you know, I just didn't mind it. But I really told myself that I I would um, fix it um, maybe on the weekends. As a content creator here, you really have to check your email from time to time because YouTube will be sending you some information that is really um, useful. You know, uh, as you as you continue your journey, but there are also times when you really have to be mindful because maybe you did something wrong and you weren't aware of that wrongdoing. For example, you had a copyright claim, so you really have to do something about that. Like you can mute that particular sound, or you can change the music that you've used there and just use what you have or what youtube um offers you to use like the sounds or music that you can find from the audio library okay so that's one of the the examples but in my case the reason why i have received this email is because i have been posted any content to my YouTube channel for how many months? Well, several months already. So as what you can see here, this was like six months ago. Okay, it's been a long time already. So that's half, half a year, right? That's why YouTube has its own way to like say hello to me. So when you base it on the ESL industry, it's like going on leave without asking permission. So uh, at tutoring, actually that's a no, no. And you might be deactivated for good, okay? But in this case, I, I really thought that as long as my um, videos are still, you know, being viewed or watched by um, my viewers, that'll already do but yeah this one is also a lesson for me that i shouldn't be too complacent about it okay so i should still create um videos even just once a month or twice a month then yeah that's that's it that's already good so let me read this part um we know uh, monetization is important to you as a creator of course of course, because <laughs> um, it's not that I just am after the money, but also I really want to share some inf information with uh, those people who would want to have some jobs or maybe who would want to hone their skills when it comes to the English language and why not. So we want to let you know that unless you meet the YPP eligibility threshold in the next 30 days, starting from February 2nd, 
um, we will disable monetization on PJ Lover. Oh no. <laughs> Imagine that. They will be disabling the monetization of my channel and I don't want that to happen, of course. To tell you the truth, I was demotivated. Not because I, I, I don't want it anymore, but because I was just too busy. I have two online jobs. I have a daughter and yeah, my, my sister also has a restaurant and I am helping her keep her FB pages engagement rate high. So I am doing all that stuff because I want to help and at the same time I want to be a mother to my daughter and also I want to earn because we have a lot of bills. <laughs> okay so if you're not able to engage on the platform right now we understand you can reapply for monetization when your channel meets ypp eligibility requirements again so based on my understanding they have not really disabled my monetization yet because when i checked my videos i could still see the advertisements and uh, when i checked the YouTube studio, I could still see that the dollar signs are still enabled. Maybe the point here is that if I just don't engage on the platform straight away, it's okay with them, but it's not okay with me, of course. Well, they will still let me reapply. So what will happen if I reapply? Back to square one. Yeah. I have to maintain the 1,000 subscribers and then I have to make sure to, to have 4,000 watch hours, okay? So the 1,000 subscribers, well, that, that requirement isn't really that hard to reach. Well, a little bit hard, of course, but it's attainable for the 4,000 watch hours if you don't really have a lot of friends um just i had friends you know they, they've supported me and they've still been supporting me right guys but uh of course it would be much better if you really have like real subscribers like who look forward to your videos every now and then so that it'll be easier for you to reach the number of watch hours Ima imagine that's four thousand watch hours okay that's a pretty long time so if accepted your access to monetization features and creator support will be reinstated okay but again youtube i don't want this to happen so guys please help me watch my videos <laughs> just kidding okay so uh, they're pretty understand, uh, understanding and considerate and I really, really appreciate that. So they've even added, we recognize that you may be taking a break and encourage you to take the time you need. Wow, thank you, YouTube. So during the next 30 days, you can still access creator support if you have questions. When you're ready to start making content again, feel free to visit YouTube creators to learn more about growing your channel and building your community. Sincerely, the YouTube team. So that's it. That's all about the email. And again, it's pretty alarming, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, to those um, YouTube content creators like me, some small YouTubers like me, well, I really want you guys to also learn from my um, situation. I hope you will learn this lesson that you shouldn't really take um, creating videos or uploading videos for granted. Even if you know that you already had uploaded a lot of videos back then. So YouTube is actually good because you can still earn in a passive way. but you still really need to give some time you know i think that's what we call mutualism right it shouldn't be 
just you earning so YouTube must also see that you are you're doing your your job so that's it guys um, that's all about this video thank you so much for watching I really hope that you found this pretty useful and helpful if you still want to hear me share some information with you guys please help me by liking this video subscribing to my youtube channel and leaving some comments if you'd like i i really will appreciate it i really miss saying this one thank you so much for watching have a happy slumber bye